If you're a true Younger fan, you know what time it is. I'm Taylor Strecker, and I'm here to take you way behind the scenes of each week's episode. This is your Getting Younger After Show. Tonight, Josh officially became a baby daddy, so we've assembled our younger mom panel to help us process how it all went down. Welcome, Sutton, Hillary, Debbie, and Miriam. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, Hi mamas, I should say. Yeah. Hello. And since Getting Younger exists entirely for you, younger fans, we want everybody watching along to join the conversation in the comments and tell us about your thoughts on tonight's episode. Okay, ladies, let's get into it. Um, let's start at the end because it was kind of a big deal. Claire has Josh's baby, and Diana gave us all the feels. Take a look. Dreams we have as a child. Dreams we pack in a box. box for college. Dreams you unpack when you move into your first apartment. Who you'll meet, where you'll work, who you'll fall in love with. Think you have it all figured out? Life has better ideas. A bigger imagination takes bigger chances than someone like me a year ago, moving through her 40s in a cloud of old ideas. Life gives you more than you thought, but maybe not in the package you expected. Liza. It's deeper than that. It's what you need underneath the want. It gives you what you can't breathe without. I do mean this. Yes. Even this part, where you say you're not looking for the man of your dreams, that what you care about now is the man at night sleeping next to you, dreaming. Yes. Oh, it's, it's... I mean it. Every word. Get over here. <laughs> Beauty. I love you guys together. No, it's so good. Oh, I just like, I get, I get emotional. Am I heartless that I'm like, oh, I love that <laughs> dressing gown. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, the robe. It's really I love good. It too. It's I get a good robe too, it? yeah. <laughs> Where is it? I don't know. I can't find it anymore. <laughs> so as we saw, Diana has this realization that life doesn't always go as planned, and that's okay. So what has motherhood taught you all about that life lesson? It's gone oh. exactly as it planned. I planned it. Everything is exactly, exactly the way that I planned it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly the way we imagined, too. Yeah. You no, know, it's like tell guard your plans, make them laugh. That's what it's been for me. Yep. You just can't plan it. And you're right, you, you think it's going to be one way and then it completely surprises you and then you realize, oh, it was always supposed to be that way. Right. And yes. so it's, um, you have to let go and, and let just, go. yeah, you have to let go. It's a complete loss of control in the way of like, you're like, well, I keep you safe. Like, I, keep, I take care of you forever now, but like, you, you have to totally let go and not have control over the situation. They yeah. teach and you. They're hard. the ones that are in the hot seat and you're yeah. like, it's okay. true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll be here to just like, you yeah. know, but you, you, you have to do it all. And That's the hard part. And they get to be them and they have to be them, I which know. is so exciting no. to watch. I just I feel like you kind of like birth them and you raise them and at a certain point they're like, bye. Uh, yeah. And they're becoming no. their own no, people. No, 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 <laughs> and, no. and you're just like, wow, oh my God, they're taking flight and it's so hard to let go. We have kids that uh, like, every phase Eight. so yeah. like it's like baby and then toddler, toddler and then well, little kids, kids yeah. and then Teenagers. slightly tweens yeah. and then teens and then just like um, like adult it's yeah almost crazy. yeah it's yeah almost. okay we got it all covered you got yeah. it all covered yeah so i heard a rumor that your kids pop by set every now and then yes yeah yeah <laughs> who has the bubba's on the most oh I've, I, I have a lot of bubba's there's like yeah. these two they're the babies are coming in the little and emily and emily yeah. emily yeah. comes to visit my daughter comes to visit yeah. al almost every day my girls came when i was directing i really wanted them to that have them yeah. see that, that. they yes. actually acted out the scene i had them act out the scene oh, yeah. they did, did. And they acted I, took out. Yeah. I had them act she out the scene where, where, and then that's position. what we did <laughs> and then i was, was like great. oh my gosh okay, okay now you get up and talk to 
Okay, I'm gonna do that. And then I, <laughs> that was how I blocked the scene. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It was yeah. perfect. Hey, they're there. But, you gotta use them. But my I kids mean, could care less. Her though. daughter came to a read. Yeah. She didn't even sit in the table read. But she was like, "Bye. I'm gonna take selfies with the w window skyline in the background." No, I, thought, was, I was like, yeah. "Who's that gorgeous woman no, but, with dad?" I was like, at first second, I thought it was her daughter. That but was my not. baby. That's like a yeah. woman, and it was your little one. Yeah, she's taller than me. Oh my God. But they've been around like on sets as young kids, and they only would come to sets where they wanted something for them. So like, I did Jonas Brothers. They came to that set because they were like crazy about them then. They wanted to meet the cast. Users. They're users. They're users, <laughs> yes. They wanted to meet the cast and they met, them, met you all once. So Done. Sweet. Because um, it's like, you know, dark rooms, yeah, cords. Quiet. And I, mean, I can't focus. Like, I don't want my kids around as babies. I was like, get them away. Get Go home. Yeah, I don't fun. want them around me. No, I want your babies around well, because I want to squish them. So our hours are so babies. long. Yeah, we're, off, we're off in there for 15 hours and so we get like, I get like this, if I if she doesn't come visit, I won't get, I won't get to see her. Yeah. But yeah. they'll come for like, like, you know, an hour. And we get rejuvenated. Yeah. And we both go, we get like this little yeah. burst of adrenaline. Oh, and we it's all like, do. It's so great. And we get to, we get to be aunties. <laughs> and Emily, yeah. Emily loves Banks, and she's always like looking for her, so she'll run down. Oh. We're at opposite ends of the hallway, and she'll be like, Henry! And she's looking for Banks. <laughs> what did she say? Henry! 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So sweet. Oh. It's really nice. They really like bring in energy. Yeah, dogs. dogs come visit. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very Everyone has their babies. Some babies are dogs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it's that's good yeah. It's a family. It is yeah, a family, family friendly. It is. Oh yeah. Oh, when when she brings Mabel, because my dogs are all in LA, oh. Banks will like sit there and Ma and Mabel will like lick her face and Banks will like <laughs> like, trying to like let her get it in the mouth, and I'm like, a second kid, you know. But I'm like, no. Yeah. Like, yeah. I did ask my um, kids what they liked best about set, and the youngest one said, um, the fruit snacks. The fruit and snacks. And I was like, you're yeah. gonna be an actor. Yeah. <laughs> we do always have fruit snacks. Um, also fruit in this episode, Maggie gets the honor of uh, riding to the hospital with Claire mm -hmm. in an Uber and uh, witnessing the beautiful miracle that is childbirth. Debbie, tell us about shooting that scene. Well, we were actually in the back of a very like tight, tight, small SUV, and all of a sudden, like she starts screaming, and she literally threw her legs, like nearly like took my teeth out, <laughs> pushed her like legs onto my shoulders, <laughs> and like her groin like into my face, and I'm imagining, and I used my mother's home birth when I was 12 to imagine what it looked like, which was, I couldn't unsee that. <laughs> well, cause actually, yeah. I, mean, oh my I didn't ever want to have kids it. after that. I did, but I did, it was like really traumatic. And I pretended like I was looking into my mother's vagina. <laughs> Which was really weird. That's so weird because I that's what I pretended when I had that really emotional scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh. okay. um, but she the, the actress did everything and she's English and she used her Irish accent perfection. Every take, screaming like an MF all the whole time. Yeah. It was really impressive. Screaming, she's sweating in her Irish brogue and never missed a beat on lifting her leg and going whomp and not kicking me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and then Wait, hold on. If someone delivered in an Uber, do you think you could help them? Totally. You do? Oh yeah. Would you be grossed out now? No, not at all. You're like, I got no, it. No, no, I mean, I had, I had kids after that. I saw that, but like, yeah. I don't, I, I would hope that I didn't get into that situation. I think there's a reason, like hospitals are a great place to be or a home, yeah. you know, doing your thing, clean. But I could totally help. I can cut the umbilical cord, tell the girl how to get through it. Oh, and then yeah. Nico, Nico's in the back like screaming as if like someone's being, having their head cut off. Yeah. I'm like, you're watching your so child dramatic. being born, like calm down and like take in the magic. It was, it was funny. I can imagine Nico like, like the high pitched thing that he does. He was going, he was going like, going whoa! And I'm going like, oh my God, oh my God. Maybe he would react like that, I don't know. I feel like that's how my mother reacted the first time I gave birth. I was like, mom, wow. I'm not National Geographic. Like, <laughs> I please, love it. please. But you're her daughter, <laughs> so she's, know. yeah. That's so sweet. I made everybody stand back here. Smart. Oh, I yeah, like I was like, no, you're not gonna be <laughs> down there. Like, no. Did everybody follow suit the same or no? Was it, did, did, did you want an audience? Um, I was, uh, Sometimes you just don't care. I wasn't really concerned with what anybody else was doing. I was giving birth, so I was like, whatever, I'm, I got this, like, you know. <laughs> I was very, like, into the idea that I was doing it. Yeah. Does that make yeah. sense? Like, it's I was totally, like, oh, yeah. I'm doing this. I was sort of, we have, I think we have a weird story that we tell women that, like, someone else gives birth to your child. Like, no, they don't. I mean, they there's do. a problem, it's great, but they're there, but, but, but they don't do anything, you do it. 
I you plan the one who doesn't. And so I you're like, I was like, oh, excuse me, I'm doing this. I wanted to be you know? so natural about it. I brought like candles and music and food. And then yeah. the Costco goes like, you can't have candles. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And and then like I and then I never dilated and I had to have a C-section because the cord went around her throat. It was yeah. nothing of what I planned. Yeah, right. Well, and, but like, I just wanted her out. I was your so first done. Step of letting the parenting. Parent. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I was like, you don't get like, to decide yeah. how it yeah. goes. Like you this is how I'd like it to go, but you know, if they and I was always like, if the baby wants it a different way, then the baby can have, have it a have different way. way. Yeah, I just Are we supposed to talk out. about our show? Oh yeah. Oh yes, okay, so actually, in the show, Kelsey's struggling to feel confident in her new role at work. So it's this idea of like imposter syndrome, but I'm gonna bring it back to being a parent. Oh. So I'm sure w in parenting you feel oh. like you have imposter syndrome, yeah. right? Yeah. So All can you time. share like examples of what that feels Take like? Take it till you make it. When, I think especially like, like when- Every second. Yeah, every second. Like when Emily started speaking and calling me mo mommy, I'm like, who's she talking, uh, who's she talking, talking about? about you know, <laughs> or even just like when I was, um, when, when she was born and I would like have her in the stroller, I was like, someone's gonna think I'm, I stole a baby or like <laughs> that this is like, no one's gonna, like how do I tell, convince people that I'm her mother and oh. that this is real oh. and that, and like I just, cause it's so new. Yes. You know, and like it was the craziest feeling. I mean now it's, I feel better. But the first year really, yeah, yeah. there was a lot of that for me. I, I do look at them and think like, oh, I'm their mom. They're gonna think I know stuff. I better act like I do. <laughs> right. Luckily, I, luckily, I'm an actress, so I can act like you I can do. act like you know what you're doing. <laughs> I yeah. don't. But, but but it's also refreshing to realize that our parents didn't know what they were doing either. Oh yeah. And we were terrified of them. Oh. We thought they knew everything. Exactly. That's yeah. why we're crushing it right now. Like that. <laughs> Seriously. Luca's terrified of me, and I like <laughs> never raise my voice at all. I'm like, how did you command that like authority? I think it's just uh, you being the parent, like, right? Yeah, they yeah. They think, yeah. Uh, and he must think I'm like so old. And when I <laughs> right? thought about my parents, I thought about like, I'm like, I'm gonna be old like that one day, and then I'll have my kids. But it's just not the I case. Know, isn't like that funny? now we're at that age where we have the kids, and we're still ourselves. I'm like twice like, no. as old yeah. as my parents were when they had me. <laughs> I, I, me too. I'm an old mom. Me too. I'm with it. I, uh, I, went, I did all the clubbing and then I had the kids. So in that clip also we see Josh with the baby against Oh god, that baby is oh, so cute. cute. So that's the other thing is it's also so natural. I know. What you do, it just comes naturally. It does. You yeah. know? It so you wait. think you're like, am I doing this right? But yes, you are. It's just in you too. Yeah. You promise? Yes. Because I'm not a mom yet. I swear. You swear? It just, yes. it, it clicks in? Yes, you're and like, you're not, you have the and village. I know what to do. You know, yeah, you ask your friends. Way, it, there's certain things that if you, like, I remember people being like, when your baby cries, you'll know their cry versus another child's cry. Well, they fucking won't. Like, I'd be at the, <laughs> I'd, be like, yes, I'd, I'd, I'd be at the drugstore, I hear a baby cry, and be like, is that my baby? No, not my baby. I don't need, my baby's not even here. Okay, I know. So then I'd be like, well, sometimes I just don't know, and that's okay too. But if you don't know, you call true. somebody. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's what you, you do. do. You have yeah. friends. I mean, yeah. I couldn't do it without my friends. Oh, Parenting gosh, no. without all my support yeah. friends. It that, really does take a village yeah. of people, especially they, if you're a working mom, which oh, yeah. we all are. Mm -hmm. you, you have to come to terms that you need help, mm -hmm. yeah. and then you hope that you find the people. That and the, that asking for help is yes, okay. okay. It actually yes. makes you a better mom. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I will okay. definitely need a village. I'll be calling all of you. <laughs> We're here for you, girl. We got Don't you. call me. We got you. <laughs> Don't call me. Like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sick of it all. Um, <laughs> teenage daughters. The mother <laughs> of teenage daughters. Mother of teenage yeah. daughters. <laughs> <laughs> so you all either sing professionally or are musically inclined. Uh, were there any favorite lullabies that you sang or sing to your little ones? Oh my gosh. I sing. I, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yes. You want my sunshine, twinkle, twinkle, little star, like all the yeah, classics, all the classics. Right? I sing a song that my mom used to sing to me. Oh. Now I sing it to them. And what is it? Ruby skinny, I'm skinny, or just like a fat zucchini. <laughs> You're so good <laughs> and nice to know. And you grow and grow and grow and grow. Aww. That's nice. Aww. And then they're like, name everyone in the family. So I'm like, Uncle Frankie Skinny. <laughs> and oh my God, the distant cousins oh, and sweet family. Sweet. They're just delaying bedtime. Okay. Oh. Right. At that point. But you know, my husband will like bring the guitar in sometimes and yeah. we'll sing just like whatever songs we feel like singing just to get it's so nice, oh you know. Gosh. I like storytelling mm -hmm. yeah. as opposed to that because I would just put like the boom box at the time with like cassettes and I would play Cuban lullabies Aww, like, really that's nice. great. Yeah. and I would leave the room. But I, we like storytelling, the most embarrassing, horrible stories and she would just love it. <laughs> Tell me again! Tell me that story again! That's you know, sweet. that was fun. And now it's like, Ma, get out of my room. 
Aww. Bye, Mom. No. I know. The <laughs> I know. Um, it's time to play a game. Okay. okay. So it's Never Have I Ever, Mom Edition. Do you know how we play this game? Okay. Oh, no, but oh I, I'm ready. So we all know mom life comes with some unique challenges. And every mama is doing just the best that she can. And we're going to have a little fun uh, with a little round of Never Have I Ever. So basically, I'll read you a, a less than ideal parenting scenario. I've done them all. Yes. And if it's something you've actually done, you raise your hand. Okay, so here we go. Never have I ever taken the batteries out of a toy that made annoying sounds and told my kid it would just stop working. How you have yeah. to. No, you have Trash. to. You have to. You have to, yeah. to survive. Yeah. Yeah. Hidden the good snacks so I don't have to share them with my kids. I do that with my 100%. husband. <laughs> I do that with your husband. Yeah. I, do. I don't do that. Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> One time I, I, I don't deal with Emily, but I do it with Ted. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's terrible. I do it with my kids. They don't care. They want the bad popcorn. I want the good popcorn. They don't Very care. simple one, but bribed my child. Oh, please, yes. Right? Oh, I haven't, I haven't gotten there yet. Not yet. Not yet. I know, although I know it's soon. I, you call it bribing, I call it parenting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done that yet. Let my child eat dessert for breakfast. I not just yet. did it three days ago because it was her birthday. So hello. Skittles I'm still so early. I'm in the. I'm early for the, for all these. Uh, skip the pages in order to speed up like, the bedtime routine. They won't let me. Yeah, <laughs> me neither. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, like, I, I'm still in the phase where I can do that. I got. I, I get so I sick go. of the story I with know. Madeline. I'm like <laughs> page twenty. <laughs> <laughs> They won't let you my kids are like, oh, you skipped the word the. I know. Like, what? Oh, How do you know? Yeah. I hear it once and they're memorized. So last <laughs> is told my kid the ice cream truck only plays music when it's sold out. Oh, oh no, no. But it's that's a good. good. That's a great Genius, one. right? That's, that's a, a really good, good one. one. That's a mom. Not and for right New Yorkers. That they're, no, they, they're not buying that. They're, no. I guess for Sean and our smart, they would just be like bullshit. My my daughter has her own money, so she like goes into her piggy bank and goes to get. The ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm always just like, that's not the one. We want to go to the good gelato place. <laughs> We're going to get ice cream. Let's get, I mean, I'm with you. I want ice cream. Let's get the good stuff. You guys, we are out of time. Oh, no. Oh. This was fun. But before I let you go, I just need a one word teaser for next week's episode. <laughs> one word. Oh, no. Start with me? Yeah. Vagina. <laughs> Afterbirth. Ooh. Murder. Ooh. Museum. <laughs> Wow, well, well, If that well. doesn't make you want to watch the episode, yeah. <laughs> what? 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 we covered all topics. Yeah. 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 The museum, the nice. vagina afterbirth. What? <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Our mamas, thank you. And thank you to all of our viewers for watching and commenting. I'm Taylor Strecker. This is Getting Younger. Join me again right here, right after next week's episode for more behind the scenes stories and insights from the cast. Until then, take a look at a sneak peek of what's coming up. Bye guys. You're listening to Exonerated. Tim Weigel met Audrey Colbert for the first and only time in June 2017 at the Rubin Museum in New York. I was there one Sunday checking out the Tibetan art exhibit and this woman brushed up behind me and quickly walked away. She touched me and she was hot, so I followed her. She moved really quickly, darting into corners and then reappearing out of nowhere. It felt dangerous and kind of sexy. And then what happened? And then we... Subscribe to Younger Uncovered. The podcast dedicated to all things younger.